Up first this evening, a startling revelation that several prospective investors have walked away from Jamaica's cannabis industry. As Dwayne Anderson now tells us, this is due to the slow pace of the development of the industry. The issue was raised at the 2023 Cannabis and Psychedelic Conference in St. James. For years, there's been talk about developing a thriving cannabis industry in Jamaica. But as far as some stakeholders are concerned, it has been too much talk for too long. Minister of Justice, Minister of Industry, Investment and Commerce, and certainly myself as Minister of Culture, but we recognize that we need, things need to step up. And we are working jointly together in ensuring that. But not everyone is unhappy things has taken some time. In fact, some believe it could be a good thing for Jamaica. Everything has to happen in a time. And the reason that there's been, uh, hopefully, the reason that there weren't as many people here is because the people that were coming in for the wrong reasons, they're not coming. Because they're not welcome. Because the energy that is here in this new movement is um, it's not fast. Nothing that's good happens overnight. So it's going to take time. Diamonds are so valuable because of how long it takes to make them. No, there was a recent incident in which students accessed candy laced with cannabis. The Minister of Culture addressed that situation and said that is part of the reason Jamaica is being so careful in how it develops its industry. So we have to ensure that regulations are in place, that these regulations are observed, and that we protect our children from being exposed to anything that could harm them. Um, it's very important. And that is why we are ensuring that all that has to be done is done. Reporting from the Conference Center in Montego Bay St. James, I'm Dwayne Anderson for TVJ News.